Hi, this is Phil Kerner, the Tool and Die Guy, with a, another lesson in real life manufacturing. So let's get right to it. Here we have a very large bearing cap, well, fairly large, uh, 13 and a quarter inches in diameter. And I've already drilled this series of holes into the face of it. We've got the three tapped holes and a series of 5 16 diameter holes with a counter bore. The trick for today's lesson is this 390,000 diameter hole that I need to drill in the side. Now, again, I'm running a vertical machine, so we're going to have to put this into a, uh, a on an angle plate. The trick is, how am I going to position that hole and correctly clock it off of these? Usually, on most bearing caps, you would find that this would be an equally spaced amount of holes uh, on a bolt circle. In this case, they're not. They're interesting uh, 54, 54, 54. 96 and 96 degrees. Uh, I believe this customer does this stuff so nobody can buy a stock bearing cap, right? They, they make their stuff a little different. I get that. So here's what it looks like though when we tip it up. This will make things a little more clear. Now we're at 90 degrees and as you can see this hole and this hole don't line up. I can't stick a pin through here or here or here. Usually I would, uh, if these were across from each other, I would stick two pins in, and either set them on the top of the angle plate to line it up, or put a parallel across them and indicate them, whatever. I can't do that here. So now uh, here's the issue. So we're going to set up an angle plate and a Kurt Weiss. And with AutoCAD, I have figured this out. We have um, from the center of the hole in the bearing cap to a half inch dowel pin, we have four, uh, four inches, two and a half thousandths. If we put a half inch dowel pin in our collet and bump this up against this pin, we'll be clocked correctly, all right? So how do we do that and uh, get the center line of the part fixed uh, uh, so we know where that is and then rotate the part until it touches on the pin? So let me show you how I did that. So here you see the setup. I've got the uh, angle plate in there. We've got a Kurt vise. I'm clamped down here. I've got a stop on the right. That's the whole secret here. And I can't twist clamp up here just to keep myself in position. So we are up on the angle plate, up against the stop. That's the big thing here. And then we're going to touch both sides of that part with our Heimer indicator until we get a zero. Okay, so now once we have a zero on our readout on our machine, I don't care if it's a Bridgeport or in this case a Mazak, I'm going to lift that head up and I'm going to put in a half inch dowel pin and a collet. And then what we're going to do is move over that four inches, two and a half thousandths, and we're going to rotate the part while it's up against the stop on the right until uh, the pin, uh, the dowel pin in the collet hits the gauge pin in the hole. So this is what the video of that looks like. A little shop noise here, but you'll get the picture. So you've got to keep it pushed up against the stop on the right and just slowly spin this up against the pin. That's that. We're up against the stop, snug it up, and I'll probably have to put another clamp up on here. Let's keep it going. So there you have it. And that's what the finished setup looks like. Um, there's my long half inch dowel pin and a collet that I know runs true. We've spun the part until it uh, comes up against the pin. As long as we keep our stop here where we originally set our zero, we're good to go. Uh, let me show you a picture of that stop. Don't use this one a lot. It's a very tall one and it's usually in my way. I'm afraid I'm going to hit it every time I do a tool change, okay, unless it's on the left side of the part. But about once or twice a year, it comes in real handy. So that's one way to do it. Uh, look forward to your feedback. And again, I consider my videos a starting point to give you an idea. And you can certainly perfect on anything I do, but this is how I handled it and got it done quickly and efficiently. We will see you on the next video.